Hello and welcome to 1000 Word Interviews. My name is Mordecai. I'm a teacher from Adelaide, Australia. And today I'm joined by Shannon. Shannon, thanks for, for joining us and speaking today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, first of all, could you tell us a few things about yourself? Sure, and my name is Shannon, as Mordecai said. I am a postdoc living in Belgium. I've been living here for the last five years, so I'm originally from Adelaide as well. Um, but I've been here doing my PhD, and now that I've finished that, I'm doing some more some more research. I work on um, literary studies, so looking at contemporary novels and how science is represented in, in literature. Okay, fantastic. And how long have you lived in Belgium? So five years now, or a bit over five years now. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so I, I can't figure out if the time goes quickly or slowly, but okay. it's, been, it's been a good time. Okay, fantastic. And what are some of your hobbies, Jen? So... Bits and pieces. Um, I do yoga. I really enjoy that. I started a year ago learning the drums, which um, my neighbors probably don't enjoy as much as I do. Um, but I have a, an electronic one, so it's not, it's not so bad. Um, and also learning Dutch, I would say, is a hobby. It's useful, but I enjoy it as well. Perfect. And you love to read. I think that should be mentioned. Yeah, that's true, actually. I forget <laughs> that because I do it so much in the job, but actually in my free time I really enjoy reading as well. Perfect. Well, today we're going to speak about a photo of Shannon's that's important to her and learn a little bit more about you. And yeah, let's get started. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. So first question, Shannon, could you describe what we can see in this photo? Yeah, sure. So in the top left-hand corner, there's a red flag and you can't see the pole, but it's kind of out of going out of the screen um, or out of the frame, but it's a pinky red flag and in the center of the flag are two different circles across them are different colors stripes of different colors um on the both sides of the photos we have big green healthy looking trees yeah. through the center a beautiful blue sky so a hint of good weather and um, down the bottom of the the frame it's much busier than the top so we have a lot of people um kind of walking we get the sense I think from the direction of their bodies, they're walking towards the back of the frame. Um, there's a couple tents set up. So one of them, it's very small, but um, one of them is a, a bag or locker storage area. That's the, it looks almost like a building, a small building on to the left-hand side, but it's a tent. Yeah, so they're all tents. These are all um, yeah, temporary constructions or temporary buildings. So a tent is that, isn't it? It's a temporary. Yeah, exactly. Um, usually made of kind of plastic or mesh of some sort. Fantastic. And what else can we see in the, in the front part of the photo? The foreground? Yeah, in the foreground of the photo, we have um, a very small, in, in this frame, a very small white table and a person in a red t-shirt. And these are, um, as I will probably talk a little bit in a moment, um, volunteers. But on the table, there are some leaflets and brochures and information. Um, very green grass as well. And then just behind the person in red is a, a signpost. And yeah. we can see some signs pointing in the right direction, um, or right-hand side with some um, stage names. Okay. Perfect. So next question. Where was this photo taken? So this photo was taken in the Adelaide Botanic Gardens. And Adelaide is a, a town in South Australia, um, very dry state in Australia. Maybe that's... A city. A city. A city. Yeah. Oh, it is. I said town. Actually, yeah. <laughs> city. Um, yeah. Maybe sometimes it feels like a town, but yeah, yeah it's a city in South Australia. Um, and this was taken in the Botanic Garden. So this, from the center of the city, it's about a 10 minute walk north. So very, um, very much in the heart of Adelaide. Yeah. Beautiful garden. Okay. And when was this photo taken? So this photo was taken very recently, just March this year. Yeah. So the end of an Australian summer, really. Um, yeah. Perfect. And who are these people that we can see in the photo? So no one I know, actually, okay. but a lot of people, so, um, this, uh, this photo was taken in an event that takes place every year and the people are probably from Adelaide th themselves, um, interstate. A lot of people come from interstate, so various parts of Australia to come to this event. Um, uh, Yeah. So these, these are just strangers. Just strangers. Okay, other people that were at the event. Okay. So Shannon, why did you choose this photo? Um, what's the story behind it? Yeah, so I chose this photo 
because living abroad, it's really nice to have memories of um, times back in Australia. And I think especially living in Belgium, which is very gray and rainy, it's nice to have reminders of blue skies and what okay. that actually looks like. Um, but the reason, the real reason I chose this is because um, it was my mom's 60th birthday and we decided that to celebrate, we would go to this festival and it's called the World Music Festival or shortened to WOMAD. Okay. And um, we wanted to do something that we'd remember that wasn't necessarily a, a party in the backyard or a party in a, you know, a pub or somewhere. Um, so going out and enjoying time together as a family. So yeah, we bought tickets to this event and it takes place, yeah, as I said, each year usually goes for four days. So we just bought a single day pass and went as a family, walked around. And... Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit more about, about this festival? What kind of festival is it? Yeah. So it's a, a world music festival okay. and it's a really interesting mix of not only world music, but also they have different activities that go on okay. um, during the four days. So there might be yoga some mornings, there's different food trucks, so different food tastings. Um, also this year they had planet talks. So they had a series of talks that address things like climate change and different policies and practices okay. around that. Um, yeah, I think it's a celebration basically of um, the different kinds of um, music we have around the world. So, so in that case, the musicians come from everywhere, yeah. lots of different countries. Yeah, and, and obviously with the pandemic the last couple of years, this event felt really special because it was the first time in a long time that people had traveled from all over the world again. Musicians had traveled again to come to this event. Yeah. I feel there's already, there's always really interesting music at Oman. Yeah. In different places. Yeah. yeah. And often, um, I think one of the nicest things about Oman is going there and discovering new artists that you hadn't heard of before and really just enjoying. And how was it? Did your mum like, like celebration or? She did. Yeah. I think she really enjoyed spending time with family. She really, really enjoys that. Um, we had some great food as well. And yeah, there was one artist in particular I think she really enjoyed, um, Sam for the Great, who's a Zambian singer. Um, a lot of, yeah, a lot of really great dancing and, and stuff to that. So, yeah, a really nice family family outing. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it was good. Um, one final question, Shannon. What are your next plans uh, to do with, I don't know, returning home or your family? What, yeah. what are you looking forward to? Oh, looking forward to is a good question. I think the what comes next question is one that I often get asked and I don't really know the answer to yet, but I'm looking forward to, I have two more years on my contract here and I'm enjoying, I'm, I'm looking forward to really learning the Dutch language more and, um, yeah, spending time in a different country. Um, Belgium is so nicely connected to other parts of Europe. So I'm looking forward to traveling around a bit and, um, just enjoying my time here. And then obviously trips back to Australia when I can do that. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for speaking and um, sharing your photo. And yeah, thanks a lot. It's been great. Thanks for having me. No worries. Um, and as always, you can find all of the questions and answers from today's conversation in the description below. If you'd like to practice your English out loud or in writing, you can choose a photo of your own to do with music or a festival and answer the same questions in relation to your own photo. So yeah, thanks again Shannon and thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.